a very good day all and welcome back to art and craft a hobby in today's video i'm going to show you how to make a krishna painting i call it a fusion art because i've used both painting and quilling techniques here i've listed out the materials required for this i will explain further as and when we go through the video so let's begin i'm using a cardboard piece from a cardboard box today this uh, measures 5 by 6 quarter inches. I have applied a coat of white acrylic paint first. On that, I'll be using blue and yellow shades to paint the background. I'll first merge the yellow color and then the blue. So I'll be getting a green patch in between. So I'll just allow it to merge. I'm not just going to do yellow and blue. I'm going to do a little merging in between. We are almost done with the first coat. I'll let this dry. And in the meantime, I'll be making the cone for the acrylic paint. To make the cone, I've taken a sheet of cellophane wrap. I'll make a cone out of it. While making the cone, I'll insert a ball pin as I'm showing in the video. And I'll roll the cone tightly. I'll secure all the open ends of the cone with the help of cellophane tape. I'm now uh, putting the cellophane tape on the outer side, open ends on the outer side. So there's one uh, flip that will be open on the inner side as well, that is the inside of the cone. I'll secure that as well with the help of a piece of cellophane tape. So now we have the cone ready and while adding the paint into the cone, ensure to remove the ball pin else there will be air trapped inside the cone and when you remove the pin after adding the acrylic paint, your paint is not going to flow out. So I've added the paint. I will now push the paint towards the tip of the cone and I'll secure the open end of the cone with cellophane tape. After closing the cone, you can reinsert the pin to the tip of the cone to ensure the paint doesn't dry. So I'm able to draw the lines with the help of the cone. So we are ready. I'm now applying a second coat of yellow and blue paint to the background. I've started with yellow and I'll complete it with blue. I'm just trying to cover any white portion that is left uncovered and make it as bright as possible. We are now ready. So once this is done, I'm going to sketch whatever drawing I'm intending to do with the help of a pencil. You can use any color combination in the background and any drawing of your choice following the same technique. If you are unable to sketch, then you can uh, use any trace medium, but ensure it's not too dark. So now done with the sketching. I'll now use the paint cone which we made earlier to apply it on the outlines.
I'm using a vermilion shade to contrast with black. We are now done with the cone painting. I am further going to make some clouds. First I am applying a mix of light blue and white. On top of that I am going to touch up with white paint and a tinge of blue. I am using a flat brush number 2 to do this. And finally on the third coat I am going to use only white for the clouds. For the quilling part, I am now going to use uh, green strips to make some grass for which I am taking a strip and folding it into two and I am making bows on either side. So you can do as many number of bows you want of different sizes. There is no particular measurement. I will now glue up the bottom end. So to allow it to hold the shape, I'll take a transparency sheet, add a drop of glue on the sheet and paste the grass on top of it. I have done a few grass already. I'll now paste this on the cardboard on the lower end in two layers as you see. For the necklace, I'm using a ball pin and applying a coat of orange shade. So I'm using a ball pin to give the bead like effect. Once I'm done with the orange, I'm going to apply a tinge of yellow on top of orange. For making the feather, I am using a mix of sap green and yellow. I'm using open coils made with half green strip to cover any open regions between the grass and to make the border I'm using two shades that is green and yellow so I'm taking quarter strip of each and making a S scroll with it similarly I'm using another shade that is blue and white to make the border around the sky I'll now glue up all these coils.
the flowers I'm using here to place between the grass was made in one of the previous videos. I'll share the link for it in the description box. So this is the Shri Krishna fusion art. You can use it as a wall decor or as a card. Hope you liked today's video. If you did, please do hit the like button. Do share your comments and feedbacks in the comments section. Please subscribe to Art and Craft a Hobby and keep your support coming in. Thank you.